one of the most embarrassing events of my life happened in such a way that it is actually part of a public record now. Several years ago, I was on jury duty and I was actually super jazzed about it because I was like, I get to go downtown and look like a fancy business person and judge people all day. Oh, yes, this is finally, I'm finally living my dream. So anyway, the trial is happening and it gets to the part where the judge is like, all right, jury, it's all up to you guys. And they send us into another room with all of these instructions about stuff that they need us to do. And I was so excited because this was very dramatic. One of the first things we had to do was decide who was going to be the head juror. And I'm looking around and nobody else wants to be the head juror. I don't really want to be the head juror, but like if no one else can be the head juror, I could be the head juror. So I become the head juror. Obviously, I had a bunch of responsibility and power in that moment and I was using it appropriately and helping us make this decision about, you know, guilty, not guilty, blah, 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 blah. And everything is going great, except we get to the part where we have to decide on a settlement number. And here's the thing about being in a jury, it's that they put you in a room and you're not allowed to have a cell phone or any electronic. And we're trying to figure out the settlement number and it involves math, obviously, because it's a number. And I'm, I am not good at math. I am painfully not good at math. And that is okay because I have a bunch of other gifts and talents and I can't be good at everything. And so I have accepted this about myself and my life. But that day they needed somebody to do math and I was the head juror. And so everybody looked at me and said, hey, you do the math. And I said, okay, I'll do the math. I had to do a lot of math, a lot of math without a calculator. Anyway, we finish with all of our jury stuff and then we have to go in and go through the process and then the judge says, I need the head juror to stand up and read the verdict. And obviously it's me, so I stand up in my best public speaking voice. I give out the decision and then the judge asks, all right, how much settlement money? And then I say it out loud and then I watch the judge and a couple of the lawyers stop and then a couple people in the jury go. And then... Um, the judge asked the bailiff person to bring over all of my notes and stuff and then there was like a 10 minute discussion about how i did math wrong and then because it was court the judge had asked me for the court did i think i did math wrong and i said i don't think i did math wrong i definitely probably did the math wrong and the whole court got together and did the math correctly and it all got written down so after everything was written down in public record that i did math wrong uh the decision was made and we were free to go and I went to Chipotle and I got myself an extra big steak burrito to console myself and my heart because that was pretty embarrassing. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye!